What is going on everyone? So this morning I actually was able to go out and cast net a good amount of white bait. A lot of uh, pilchards, greenbacks, whatever you want to call them. And I didn't film it because I was doing it by a dock and there was a lot of people on the dock. I feel weird filming around the other people. So I just caught the bait. But I have about, I'd say, at least three dozen like perfect size pilchards. The fish should be stacked up in the roots of the mangroves. So I'm just gonna pitch some live bait and see if I can get some redfish and snook. I actually came up here the other day, actually about a week ago, with no live bait, I was using artificial, and I saw a ton of fish, but I could not get any of them to eat. Mostly snook, I uh, saw some redfish too. I've caught some trout up here. So we could catch a slam today. We'll see what happens, but I'll show you the rig once we get up to this island. So the setup I'm gonna be using today is my go-to setup right here, a 3000 pen clash with 15 pound braid on my Bull Bay 7.6 uh, medium power cell sniper rod. I got a long section. This water's pretty clear right now. I got a long section, probably three, three and a half feet of 30 pound fluoro leader attached to a 2.0 circle look right here. I'll position myself with the wind pretty far from the island right now because I wanna kinda of work my way close to the island because last time I was here, I saw a lot of fish out here on the grass leading up to the island. So I'd rather hit this first and just kind of slowly push up closer and closer, especially as the tide's coming up, kind of follow those fish into the mangroves. So let's grab a bait and make a couple casts. And let's grab a bait. There we go. Look at this, these are perfect size filters right here. I'm gonna start with nose hooking them. Right there, 2-0 circle look. I really don't think this will take too long at the snooker here again. See what we can get. Like I said, I'm just gonna kind of work this uh, grass area first before I move up to the mangroves. Just gonna let them swim around, just free line them. Kind of keep your bail open, keep a finger on the line so you can feel the pop once it happens. Let them eat it for like a second or two and then just reel down because it's a circle look. Try belly hooking this guy. Right back there. This is honestly a much slower start than I was expecting. It's about 20, 30 minutes into fishing and I haven't even got a single bite yet. But I am seeing snook, which is obviously a good sign. Oh, I had one. Oh, I didn't even know. I'm gonna try live jumping a little bit kind of get like a better idea of where these fish are and just get them fired up too. Oh, there's one chasing one right here. I saw at least one snook. Oh, there's one. There's one. Okay, how big is this guy? Didn't seem that big. I mean, he's decent. I guess my drag's pretty loose. Come here, dude. Probably mid 20s. felt him pop that, that green back right there. It's kind of got the hook down his throat a little bit. He might cut me off. Come here. Got him. Yeah, that's a solid little fish right there. Probably like 25, 26. Hooked him like on the roof of the mouth on the inside. So he definitely Definitely chafed up my line pretty good. I can tell you that. Here we go. You can see he's been hooked before. He's got a little mark right there. Yeah, solid little fish. Let's get a measurement on him so we know. He's 26 and a half. Beautiful little fish. Let's get the release on him. Take your time. Sucking on my thumb. There you go, see you dude. All right, let me retie because he definitely chafed me up and let's get another bait in there. So yeah, as you can see, it's frayed up pretty good about three inches 
on the leader above the hook. So I'm just gonna cut it up here and retie right quick. Took me a while to get that fish. Took me like a half hour. See if we can get on a pattern now. And if you're wondering, I'm just tying a uni knot right here. That's pretty much what I tie all the time. It takes 30 seconds to retie. Let's get another bait. See if there's any more fish. I got a rock. There it goes. Little guy ate it. I was like reeling it back in and he ate it while I was reeling in. Little guy. The GoPro on my head died again, but got another snook. Cast it out the green back in, didn't get anything and then started reeling it back in and he ate it on the way in. Let's get the release on him. See, dude. It seems like they're really starting to bite now. Let's see if we can get some some bigger ones. It's right out there, really. He got eaten. Oh, there was one. Dang it, missed him. Oh yeah, these snook are definitely eating now. He got eaten. Got him. That's a, ah, it's like mid-20s again. I was gonna say that's a decent one with the way he ran, but I mean, he's not bad. Come here. Probably the same size, around like 25, 26. Ah, maybe a little smaller. Come here, dude. These guys are fun though. They're consistently eating. Just had to wait for the tide or something. He just spit up the green back. Got a little grass there, bud. That was a little bit smaller, probably like 24. Hey, the fish are eating right now though. Cannot complain. Right there. Oh no, he's uh, 22 and a half. Little guy. Let's see how many fish we can catch today. I think he freed me up a little bit. Let me retie. Yeah, the first half hour, maybe even like 45 minutes. Didn't get any bites, didn't see any snook, and just caught three, missed one in about, I don't know, 20 minutes. So they're definitely, definitely getting fired up right now. These live baits are definitely the key. Live chumming too. I wasn't getting anything until I started live chumming. I mean, I haven't done it for a little bit and they're still eating, so it probably helped fire them up in the first place. And now they're, now they're just ready to go. Seems like they're mostly like right out there. It's looking like a, a storm forming right here, maybe. Starting to hear some, some thunder from that cloud. Which way are the clouds moving? Oh, I knew I had one. Okay, they're eating. Did I get cut? No, okay. Just missed one. Keep an eye on the storm though. I'm gonna cast this guy out, put in a rod holder and check the weather because it looks like these clouds are coming this way. So we have a lot of clouds kind of forming right there and it seems like these storms are popping up pretty quickly. My number one fear in life is getting struck by lightning. So I am not risking that today. 